everybody. Welcome to Homeschool Help for Parents with Mrs. Anderson. And today we're tackling math curriculum. Now before I jump into the curriculum that I've been using for years and years, I want to give you this one math tip. It's priceless and you need it. Your attitude, your own attitude about math is contagious to your children. If you don't like math, they will learn to not like math. If you say, oh, I don't get this, I don't know this, I can't do this, that will be their mantra as well. If you say, I don't like math, I can't do it, I was never good at math, they will adopt that as well. The truth of the matter is, you love what you know. You don't love what you don't know. And it's not that you're not good at math, it's that you were not taught math well, so you feel like you don't know it, and so therefore you don't like it. So I'm gonna challenge you as a parent to learn with your child. To say to them, it's time for math. I don't know how to do it and you don't know how to do it, but put on this smile and learn it together. So we're gonna do this together. We're gonna to figure this all out together. It's gonna to be great. And, and just keep up that good attitude. You'll see it spread to your child and it will be a huge help to you as you journey through math um, now that more of it has potentially been put on your shoulders. Okay, so let's dive in. I use Saxon math. I love Saxon math. I use the homeschool curriculum. You could use any Saxon math curriculum that you like. I prefer the homeschool curriculum because they assume that you don't have a teacher that's helping you. You just have yourself and they know that they're teaching the parent with the kid at the same time. So that's why I love the homeschool version. I never do kindergarten Saxon math. I start with just kindergarten. Here, let me grab this book that I use with my five-year-old. Kindergarten, I just start with flashcards. The flashcards have geometric shapes like octagon. And then they also go into colors, they go into more geometric cylinder shapes, three-dimensional shapes. So I will do flashcards with my kindergartner, and then I will do just fun workbooks that I find on Amazon that I find have really good kindergarten structure for math. So if you're looking in here, it's focusing on pattern, bright colors, kindergarten, kindergarten, kindergarten. It is a time to play and learn, but they must learn through play. Otherwise, you're really gonna get frustrated really quickly. <laughs> so keep it fun, keep it light. Go get, you know, 20 Hot Wheels, line them up, add them up in groups, go get a pile of Legos, tell them to sort them by color, and start doing little addition problems with things they can touch. And for kindergarten, you just want number recognition. You want them to understand that a squiggly thing equals three things. So a lump and a lump, they just need to recognize that that double lump equals three things. Math is a foreign language. A child does not recognize that two circles on top of each other equals eight items. So the goal for kindergarten is number recognition. Um, so really push that. I'll have the link for this down below. Um, and I'll have the link for these down below. They're really helpful. Keep kindergarten basic. I never do kindergarten Saxon math. It's just my opinion. Um, it's worked really well. So I have a sixth grader right now and I have a third grader and they're doing great. And we didn't do Saxon kindergarten. I always start in first grade. It comes with the big lesson book. And don't be intimidated by this. Don't be scared by this. It's giant because it is scripted. What do you mean by scripted? I mean, you open it up and the dark print is what you say. Like you don't even have to come up with any original thought. The dark print is what you read. It is brilliant. It takes you through step by step, every little part of the lesson. You don't even have to prepare. You just say, okay, kids, time for math. And you all sit down. You open it up to the next one. Lesson number 48. 
and it tells you what's going to happen. It tells you what materials you need. That you might want to do that before they come sit down. Like you'll need 50 counting bears or something, or 50 things to count. Um, that is like the extent of the preparation. That's why I love Saxon, and it does that through every grade level. As you get higher and higher and higher, they still will basically teach you what to say. They teach you what to teach and you go through it together. You learn it with your child simultaneously. And it is a huge load lifted. It gives you, the kits give you all the flashcards, the kits give you all the workbooks, the kits give you every worksheet. It is self-contained. It is completely self-contained. The only thing you'll need is if you've never done this curriculum before, is one set of manipulatives. So you'll need like a little plastic clock because it teaches time. You'll definitely need some kind of manipulatives to count. They have Saxon manipulative kits um, that I'll link below. Just If you just want to buy the one whole kit and just be done, um, they make a really nice kit. And then that one kit lasts you from kindergarten to 12th grade. One kit, you're done. It's really, really great. I highly recommend it. And I love it because it goes, not slow, slow is not the right word. It is so careful, it's just easy plus one. Easy plus one little thing. They never load on too much too quickly. That's why I love Saxon. And they're perpetually reviewing. So every single day they'll have review questions from the previous, not only previous weeks, but previous years of what they've learned so they never forget what they learned in first grade. My son is in sixth grade. They're still reviewing first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. He hasn't forgotten anything about fractions, decimals, percents, because they keep revisiting it. Area, perimeter, geometry, they keep revisiting it um, over and over again. They'll just throw in a question about acute, obtuse angles. They'll just throw in a question about cubic feet. Um, every now and again to keep them fresh. So I think that's priceless. It's a fantastic curriculum. If you have multiple children, there are components of this curriculum that you can use again and again. So the big thick manual that has the lesson and the scripted things that you say, that can be used over and over. And then there is a book of worksheets. I have, I tear these out and I have them do the worksheets. Um, so this is consumable. This part is consumable. They have all your practice multiplication. You can do it as a time test or not, depending on your kid. Um, those are consumable. And then of course the answer manual for those of us that are not quite sure <laughs> about what's happening in math. Um, full answer manual for every single question. So um, it's really handy to just look up the page number and the question and um, say, yeah, yeah, that's right, good job. <laughs> so this, of course, is use reusable every single year. So the only thing you're buying over and over again for multiple children would really be the worksheets. So for that perspective, from that perspective, it's really nice too because you can use it again and again. All right, I think that's it for Saxon Math. Remember, keep a positive attitude. We're excited about math. Math is predictable. You do like math. You do like predictability and your kids like math. They like knowing what time we're going somewhere. They like knowing how much of something they're going to get. They like to know how many days until we go somewhere. They like measurement. They like predictability. They like orderliness. And that's math. They really do like it. Um, and you do too. You just don't know it like you should. It's not an old friend yet. And the Saxon math program, it makes math an old friend. So, links will be down below. I hope this is helpful as you pick your curriculum for this year. See you later.